This video is brought to you by Sketchfab, a platform for buying and selling 3D models online. Their store has a lot of high quality models to choose from using a great model inspector. Links in the description. The idea of Unity as the start was to make something along the lines of Apple Final Cut. Since then, Unity has changed into a multi-platform game engine, and in mid-2008, when Apple launched the App Store, Unity was the first game engine to support the iPhone. It was done when a large number of people started using Unity, therefore the very idea from which Unity game engine was conceived is what makes it unique. Is Unity good for beginners? Unity is actually a simple engine to work with, since you can get free assets, create objects, control UI easily, use pre-made inputs to your code, and so on. It's also easy to learn and the pricing fits the needs of indie developers. If you are good at using C Sharp, then you will find it easy to build games in Unity because it is the most used programming language in there, yet not the only one. Unity users can use C Sharp, JavaScript, or Boo, which has a syntax similar to that of Python. The development environment runs on Mono, an open source version of the .NET framework, and Unity itself is written in C++. Unity is a great platform for beginners who are not very technical and great as a start because it is one of the best for creating small and mid-sized games. If you are planning to create a big game, then it is better to choose a more powerful game engine like the Unreal Game Engine for example. In addition to that, Unity goes out of its way to make the game building process simple and hassle-free. It gives you a set of tools for common image processing tasks when importing new image assets. Also, Unity directly imports 3D models and animation files. It also provides an easy animation controller that reduces the efforts needed for an important thing such as animation. One of the reasons why Unity is easier and good for beginners, especially those who don't really know what they are going to do, is because it gives you the ability to create 2D or 3D games or a mix of both which is known as the 2.5D games and later you're going to choose what you're going to stick to. Besides that, Unity has great tutorials and guides for beginners since it is very popular and because many game developers use it. And there are a lot of people to ask. And there are many resources out there that can boost beginners learning curve. And if you want a place to start, Unity itself provides really good and professional tutorials. Overall, Unity tutorials are beginner friendly and there are a lot of them out there. So as a beginner, Unity can be one of the best options. You can also consider the Unreal Engine or other video game engines as well as a beginner. But there are additional reasons why Unity is a good game engine. Default project build speed for other engines are sometimes slow compared to Unity, meaning it takes much longer to fix your mistakes. It can take you minutes to package the quick start mobile projects on a decent machine. In Unity, it rarely takes over a minute. C Sharp Autocomplete and Code Suggestions in Visual Studio are better generally speaking for beginners than using C++. This makes learning the game engine API for the first time very easy. Everything from building the project to opening the editor takes less time using Unity. Other game engines have many types of actor classes, while Unity only has one. So Unity is fairly easy to use, but the main thing to keep in mind is it is more like a canvas whereas the other game engines are sometimes like a template. Meaning in Unity you can more or less do whatever you want, but the catch is that you have to do it yourself. So if you want to make a game, you will have to learn how to program or team up with someone who already knows how. Or you can get one of the visual scripting tools of the asset store if you want node-based programming. Likewise, if you want to make a game with really good graphics, you can do so, even in Unity Free. You just need to be able to make the assets, textures, animations, etc. Unity for beginner programmers Unity cannot be good for beginners at video game development only, but it also can be the perfect tool for those who are beginner at coding, yet want to prove themselves in the video game industry, because it is possible to make a game with Unity with little to no coding required. For example, Adventure Creator is an asset that you need if you are making 2D, 2.5D or 3D games in Unity. It is a visual scripting system and an intuitive editor that enables beginners to build an entire game without writing a lot of code and helps programmers plug in and play their own functionality, although all Unity games require some programming at some point. The only difference is the means of creating the game. Visual scripting system like Playmaker will let you create games without code, but not without logic, variables, loops, 
and control flow. In other words, it is programming for people who don't like to type. Unity Pricing If a new developer wanted to create and publish a commercial game using the Unity game engine, they can use it for free. Since indie developers and especially beginners don't have a big budget when starting off, this undeniably is the biggest solution for the problem of not having the budget to pay for software. But the free versions of Unity does not support some of the features that can be found in the commercial or paid versions. However, that could be fixed using third-party tools developed in Unity's community. Since the engine is free, it is widely open and available to pretty much everyone. That also includes people who want to make a quick game to earn some cash or those who want to make a serious game and build a career out of it. Game engines such as Unity is one of the reasons why people started to make their games that are not limited by big budgets of game development studios and titles that are worthy of a bigger price tag. In Unity, new developers can create video games in a matter of days, thus there are more games developed by Unity than its competitors such as the Unreal Engine. It is noteworthy that most of the games developed by Unity might be significantly smaller compared to those created in other engines. Let's also step back and address something that we talked about earlier. There are a lot of people using Unity to make games to make some quick cash since Unity is free and no one has to spend a penny on game engine expenses, meaning they could develop a game that can be rather more clickbait than playable, yet charging customers quite a bit of money without in return losing anything because, as we said, there are some games made only in a matter of weeks or days. The result was a torrent of poorly developed games being released through Unity. The quality of games created on it started going downhill because it became the source of tons of poorly developed games. This resulted in a bad reputation of it since it seems the reason why games with lower graphics can actually have better graphics, but in fact, Unity has always supported good graphics even though high quality image assets and effects were not available for the public to use with the free version. But you could still achieve some pretty cool visuals, especially using third party tools and assets that are similar to the image effects represented in the paid version of Unity. Unity Free is free for individuals to use regardless of their income. It is also free for any company or entity to use as long as its annual turnover is less than $100,000 per year. If the turnover is more than the limit, they are required to purchase Unity Pro. Unity is exceptionally simple and easy for beginners as a game engine. The other advanced game engines such as the Unreal Engine are good for game developers who work on mid-size and AAA video games. As such, the licensing of Unity is more suitable and makes more financial sense to those who make less than $100,000 per year. Actually, Epic Games announced that they will release Unreal Engine 5 that will be far more advanced than ever before, and they will increase the yearly turnover limit to $1 million for those who will be required to pay, which to be honest seems like a great deal. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.